Welcome to Nostalgia Day. Are you excited about Nostalgia Day? Yes. What are you excited about? I don't know, you haven't told me. <laughs> Pod because you guys are coming along for the ride today. All right. So today is nostalgia day. You know how schools have different days like dress down day, pajama day, those kind of things. Well, yeah, this is one of those for us. These are our teacher earrings for the day, friends. Are they cute? They're so cute. I don't. I think I had already told you guys this that I decided that putting teacher earrings on meant that I was at work. And when I take them off, I'm done. So, <laughs> that's been working out well for me. And I get to wear super cute earrings every day. So, talking about challenges and creativity. Kendall, come closer. Okay, so Kendall's our animator. I don't know. I will tell you to sit right here. What? But are you too big for that? No. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay oh yeah we should have done this except for you look taller than me and you're not actually taller than me in real life yet no <laughs> but we're both sitting down so that's true that's true okay i'm making a little teaser for the show that i've wanted to make for a while and i'm trying to find a good song for the teaser oh kendall what if one of your people's watching so yeah i'm trying to find a good song i also want to do more animal research because I need to know if, like, rabbits can climb and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so, just in case you didn't know, Kendall has a platform um, on Scratch, which is a coding platform. It does really great over there. It's a way for him to get out his creativity and really grow in his animating skills. And he's starting to work on the show now. Right? Right. Well, he's been working on it for some time, but he's really, you know, moving forward in that show, right? I'm trying. Mm -hmm. So he usually does a lot more short form animations, but he's starting to get into more longer form animations, which is really cool to see. It's really cool to see how he lays out his stories and how the stories develop. And what I really, really love about Kendo's platform is how he collaborates with his community. I really love how he engages with his community how he puts things in its place, how he's been able to establish a disciplined routine overall. He's really good with like collaborating and that is not easy um, because I always think of different people that would be cool to collaborate with on this platform, but being able to manage that collaboration and ideas and timelines and stuff like that is really challenging for me. But for him, he's really great at, you know, getting together with people and just getting those projects out there and just promoting one another's um, ideas and platforms and things. You're really good at that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I did want you guys to finish your map so you can actually do that. Or you can go give your sister a hand with her math. Help her through because I know she needed some assistance. So why don't you go do that, and then you guys can work on the rest of your sketch for your math. Okay. Yeah, this is our first nostalgia day. The kids are very nostalgic. My biggest kid, most particularly. Um, but I thought it would be a cool way to just have like a little fun day, add something a little special to the day. So I have this list on my phone. <laughs> Um, I think we're going to start some things off by printing out old fall pictures and maybe like making some type of garland with it. That way we can walk down memory lane, starting with pictures, of course. And then I've been putting this off and I need to just go ahead and get it done. I think I'm going to go ahead and judge their tree houses. It's really nice and fally outside and I'm thinking that we can move the tree houses outside. They can give me their little tree house story and I can go ahead and um, judge their tree houses. Um, then I want to go to the store and get some warm, I want to make some warm apple cider, um, with like cinnamon sticks, just really cute, nice and quaint, nice and warm for us to sit outside and cozy and read. 
I want to make a little tiny fall charcuterie board. Now, mind you, I have this checklist, and if two out of the 20 fall, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, I thought maybe we could make some pumpkin bread. We're gonna take a little walk down memory lane during lunchtime um, and have like lunch and a movie, old school style. We used to get out our picnic blankets and have something ready to watch while we have lunch. So I have a great idea for that. Uh, coming off of watching The Wild Robot, you guys, love, <laughs> okay? Love, I love this movie. The music, the animations, the story, just impeccable. So I wanna do a little recap with them. I also started off the morning with The Wild Robot soundtrack which I love um, the score for this movie is so good like it is just mm, so good so um, I woke them up this morning with a little bit of the sounds of the wild robot get to the heart of my intention which is I want to just walk us down memory lane and help us remember why we love doing what we do together so in this case I'm going to take us back to um, uh, one of my favorite vlogs of our homeschool days where we finish up reading The Wild Robot. That was now several, several years ago. And I just think back to them at that stage and it gives me all the feels. <laughs> like, so nostalgic. Um, so, and we're also going to start the second book today after we do a little bit of a recap of the movie and I also grabbed this and put this on my cart this is just I don't even remember where I got this from so oftentimes you guys might ask when you see something where I got something from and in the past I never really loved to share that not to gatekeep but because I always get what is accessible for me um, what fits in our budget what we find in a discount store or shop what was gifted to us and so sometimes um, I feel like it is it causes a roadblock or a hurdle that is unnecessary to look for a specific item um, sometimes it's a good thing but looking for a specific item can really ruin things in my world um, because when I can't find it or I start to get fixated on not having enough money to get that thing but when I try to open up my mind to what is available to me what's this what is accessible to me that really helps to keep us moving I said all of that to say that I don't remember where we got this but you know if you really open your mind to the heart of what you're trying to do you'll find so many unique ways to fulfill whatever that goal is so for us I remember that we'd had this on the shelf for years and we had never actually gotten around to it I think I might have purchased this on Amazon like one year for Christmas and we just never did it but this might be a good time to just bring this little 3d puzzle out I think it also has a motor which would be fun um but yeah so this is a little steampunk music box that is a robot and so that will be fun to do while we watch a few things um while we um, press play on our little playlist for our lunchtime watch party so here's our wild robot trilogy and we actually obviously we read the first book and I'm pretty sure that they read the second one as well, but I didn't read it. I think it was a read aloud that Brian led, but he doesn't quite remember what happens in the story. So we're probably going to start over here. And then the last one, none of us has read just yet, but we did get this nice Barnes & Noble special edition that I think has some notes about the sketches early on in the back, which I love. Whenever possible, I tried to find ways for the art to interact with the text. The space for writing. Ooh, the space for writing. Yes, Peter Brown, give us all the behind the scenes. Okay, so I was also really hoping that we could go on a long morning walk. We haven't gone out this morning for a walk. I feel like it'll be a nice little overcast 
walk through our trail and we can start on one of the wild robots. So welcome to Nostalgia Day. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Dance with me. Thank you. Savannah's still working on her math. Someone is doing some kind of construction in the front, so I feel like if I go towards the front and film, you're not going to be able to hear a thing I'm saying. And that's okay. See? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> anyway. So these are some of the tomatoes we've gotten. I'm gonna get these. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Uh, yeah. No. Tomatoes have such a strong fragrance. Don't they? Like I feel like I'm gonna smell like a tomato for like a long time. And I think I had mentioned the other day that we were gonna be pulling everything out of here um, to go ahead and plant some things for fall, which is basically greens. But look at how much this is starting to produce now. I thought it wasn't going to do anything for us, but I feel like, I feel like it's just, I feel like it's just getting started. Would you look at that? So, we'll go ahead We'll go ahead and keep these. Alright, basically my breakfast has been the same pretty much every morning. I just have a piece of turkey bacon, kiwi, English muffin, everything but the bagel seasoning, a yogurt, and a little bit of granola. I gave the kids a tiny little assignment asking for their help. And um, I wanted them to try and update help me update their geography principle so they just take it and edit it a bit and while some of the things are quite basic I feel like it gave me so much insight as to how I wanted to update it and change it so this is what they gave me and they just took markers and sketched out some little um, comments on each section and I love that so I'm gonna take their feedback and I'm going to update <laughs> I'll update this printable oh my god Okay. It's most convincing, authoritative, and believable, and analyze it mm. using the following criteria of the three you read. Okay. The specific ways in which this article differs from the other two in terms of credibility. Thing. Yeah, I can't hear you. You need to make sure I can hear you. Israel expands weekend strikes in Yemen. Seventy no. percent of the world, but it's concerning the global population, right? Okay. Little house in the sky. Come on in. Stay a while. Okay, show me your fit. We have 
three articles and now we're going to go and select the one you'd like to analyze. Meaning they were encouraging me, not me encouraging them. <laughs> ben is getting our quick bread to the oven. Brian is out in the garden. And I thought I was going to get so much more done, but I didn't. Um, it is nostalgia day, and I got none of the nostalgic things accomplished. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, we can take off tomorrow to get even more in. No, we're not taking off tomorrow. You tried it. Oh, I thought that's what <laughs> We're going to try to sprinkle them in throughout the week instead of stressing myself out to try to get them done today. Um, I feel really happy that the garden, the fall garden, is getting started. We're going to have some yummy pumpkin bread. Um, they started their maps, their United States map. Cameron started his um, world map already. He has been working his way through his geography lessons. What else did we accomplish? We made more progress. We made more progress on our... Wow. We made more prog progress on our puzzle. Our bonding session with our bunnies today was a fail. And that was sadness. Uh, because bunnies really fight. Um, and we don't love that for it's them. It's a lot worse than people. <laughs> it's, oh. not, it's not good. Yes? He needs me so that he can help me to get the thing accomplished that I want to. I like song. I like song. So yeah, I may see you guys later. I may not. This may be the end of the video. And if it is, then life is so very full of lessons. And our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. Bye, friends. <laughs> really haven't been able to be out here that much because of all the bees and the mosquitoes. But you're, I think you're, you're allergic to outside. Yes, I'm, allergic. <laughs> allergic to outside. I'm not. If doesn't like her, she doesn't like it. <laughs> okay. Everyone else is fine out here. Okay. Everyone else is fine Everyone out here? Fine. Well, I'm not fine out here. So I'm trying to find a way to be fine out here. And I think this might work. So.